you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both. And there you have the facts of this news line. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC welcoming you to yet another episode of the Good Times Newsline Flashcast. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We've got the old Evercade news update. Now, are we taking the good or are we taking it? We don't know until we find out what's going on in the news update. So let's get in to that right now. Let's take a look and see what we have on the screen here. We've got release update from Evercade. All right. We are used to seeing this red and white logo. Sometimes, oftentimes, when it has to do with Evercade hardware releases. Well, let's see what we got. Release update, Evercade R consoles and two new cartridges to move to August 30th release from July 9th. That's today. We have an update for you on some cartridge, uh, some release date changes for upcoming hardware and cartridges. These changes are due to unforeseen an unforeseen production delay and subsequent shipping delay in transit that has forced us to move our planned release date. The release date of the EX, the VSR, the EXPR, the Tomb Raider Collection 1, and the Thalamus Collection 1 will now move to August 30th, 2024. We apologize for any inconveniences this may cause. Your retailer will be shortly updating the retail release date for any pre-orders and contacting you to confirm the change. Thanks, Evercade. So there you have it. It's That is the bad i guess of the news uh this this happens right um i honestly i mean i'm I'm with i'm with pete i guess on this one um yeah it's it's one of those things where you hear about it and you're like yep it can almost almost set your clock to it it is an unfortunate thing i really hope that one of these times, I just want them to get a break. I want these guys at Blaze to just catch a break for once when it's time to put out pieces of hardware. Just once. I just want them to get just the stuff shipped from wherever they're doing or whatever. And I know it's hard. It's hard. Logistics is hard. You know, it is absolutely a difficult thing to do. But it's like, come on, guys. Like, you know, uh, so super pockets are supposed to be coming in whenever the super pockets are coming. I mean, are we going to get them? Is it a, a week or two or whatever? It happened in the super pocket time. It happened with the EXP Duke. It happened with, or the VS Duke. It happened with the EXP. It, I mean, big time happened with the EXP limited edition. I mean, you know, it happened with the VS, um, you know, all sorts of stuff, right? Every time they've got the big console release, something winds up happening in that logistics area that winds up just getting them just a little bit um i would i really i do i feel for him i really wish that it 100 would be something that is not happening um but that being said i think it's time at, at least now and i know you've got to do it because you get tellers happy and all that kind of stuff but I think they're small enough where I think that you could you could just just have a launch window, right? You know, this is going to release Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and just put it out when it's out. Have a big trailer, have a release. Hey, we got the thing. It is. Then we can finally finalize the release date. The release date is X. Retailers get it on X date. You get it on XYZ date. Everyone's fine. So when we're releasing release dates for hardware from now on, I think that's just, I would be fine with that. I would be fine with that. I would just be like, all right, yep. All right, go to fun stock. Okay, it's shipping Q1. No problem. Boom. All right, Q1 to me is whatever. You know, whatever you want it to be. You know, you want to do January to March or whatever. Just get it in there and that that thing and it'll be fine. It'll be fine for me, it, it, you know, because it 
I know what people say though. Like every you know, they did the rumor mills or not the rumor mills, but the 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 social media mills. They just they get to grind. They do all the things. Like, oh, you know, I don't necessarily. Uh, I'm not necessarily bothered too much about a push. This one hurt a little bit though, because it's supposed to have been towards the end of July, and hopefully I was going to ride that fun stock train to glory, get my EXPR with the little handle right before I got on that plane to go on vacation. I'm on vacation first week of August. It would have been perfect. I would have done all of my fun for fives and all of the, like maybe even the unboxing would have waited until I got to my destination to a little tropical unboxing it would have been cool. Would have been cool. But unfortunately that's where we're at. I mean, let me know down below. Let me know down below in the comments, what you feel um, about all this. You know, do, are you are you upset? Are you angry? Are you mad or whatever? You know, are you kind of like mad like me? You're like, yeah, I, I could, you know, I can kind of feel it coming. When they didn't say anything from last week and they still had more news coming, man, I was like, I think we're gonna make it this time. I think it was it's gonna happen. It's just they, they said it was gonna come out, it comes out, they hit the marks every yeah, like bravo, right? I'm ready, I'm ready to clap, I'm ready to be. Yes, cool. We got exactly what we wanted, when we wanted it, how we were going to said that they were going to get it. Awesome, you know. But I like again. I know, I understand. Things happen. It's it's one of those things. I'm not going to blab about it anymore because we've got some more things. I got to shift gears. Yeah, you're getting a news line, but you're also getting a good times with rest your wrist because I want to get through some of this stuff from too many games. So you're coming along with me. So anyway, that's it. Let me know down in the comments about the Evercade stuff. But we've got, got to unbox this bag. Yeah, that's right. You got Atari. Technically, it's not the Tengen cart. It's the regular cart. But te technically, Tengen, Atari. Yeah, yeah. They had that weird bringing the Tetrises to the Nintendos, right? So that's technically still. That's part of it, right? There's, there's Atari cartridges for the Evercade, right? We're still in there. Let's find out what's in this bag, shall we? All right, I went to the Atari booth and I got like some swag and uh, some things when I was doing that Neo Sprint tournament, which I still got to do the video for. Um, so that's going to be coming up soon. But I just want to get because I got to get some of the stuff that's in here washed and all that kind of stuff so I can start wearing it. You know, I got my Atari T right now. You know, I got my Tempest t shirt, which is pretty cool. But anyway, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Come on. Let's go over to the open zone. All right, here we are. In the open zone. And there it is. There is the Atari bag of glory. Let's see what we got. What did I get out of this thing? I'm just going to start pulling things out. This was the last thing I got. I got the Fuji hat, which I thought was pretty cool. I don't know why I need another hat. I've got an Evercade hat. I've got an Intellivision hat. I've got the Running Man. You know, but I just saw, I just saw it, and I was like, you know what? That's pretty cool. I like it. There it is. You got the, the red Fuji logo with the Atari and Kanji or Katakana or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's got the, uh, I don't know, the adjustable whatever sticker thing is. I don't know what that what that brand is, but yeah, that's kind of cool. That's the classics. And it's one of those, um, they call this the dad hat. So, like, you know, you just you, know, you feed your stuff through like this and then you know, clasp together one size fits all. It's got the 1972 date on the back here. That's pretty cool. I'm liking it. You know, and it's uh, you know, it's comfy uh, canvas. You know, comfy canvas hat. It's pretty cool. So that's one. That's one thing we got in here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. See what else we got in here. We got. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Evercade, I forgot to put this in there. I didn't buy this. This is actually just my Katie shirt. And then say he's at. Hanging out of there. He's hanging out of there. He surprised me. There's the Katie shirt. All right. And we got another shirt to go with it. It is the matching shirt with the hat. I, I actually bought them in two different two different times, so I didn't actually know whether or not I actually got the right design. Because they had the they had like the two different they had two different designs. One that looked like it was over the pocket, and then one that was what I wanted, which was like the straight up in the middle thing. So there we go. See that? Big red, big red Fuji with the katakana on it. That looks cool. 
I like I like shirts like that. Very cool. And then you got the matching, so I can just you know, have my Atari Katakana outfit going on. Very neat. Very neat stuff. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I think there's some stuff in here. Yeah, I think there is. Yeah, there is. There's some like tchotchke kind of items, which is cool. We'll take a look at that. And then there's nothing else in the bag. Let's see. There's anything else in there? No. Nothing else in there. Yeah, and you got this cool Atari like you know string bag or whatever when you purchased it. That's awesome because I'm gonna put this somewhere. That's it looks really cool. I like it. That's good. We're gonna put it somewhere. All right. So what else would you get? Oh, we got a Yars Rising card. It's pretty cool. It's got I think uh yeah it's got a QR code. So maybe I can put this in there. So you want to go there so you can wish list it on Steam. Take a pause. Go there and wish list it. You get Hack Your Destiny from the renowned development studio Way Forward Technologies. Comes Yars Rising, a 2D action ex adventure exploration of one of the Atari's richest and best known classic titles. For all the things. Look at that, guys. Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series, X and S, PS4 and 5, Steam, Epic Game Store, and the Atari VCS. That's right. The logo is right there. Yes, we are getting Yars Rising on the Atari VCS. It's going to be great. So, oh, yeah, I forgot. I got like, the little flamey guy from that thing we were talking about the other day, Blinding Light. Look at that. Look at that art. It's kind of cool. It looks like a, I mean, it looks like, kind of like a hollow. But that would be kind of cool. Anyway, we got a Too Many Games three-day pass. Also very cool. And then we've got some stickers. We got the Lunar Lander Beyond sticker, the Digital Eclipse sticker. Oh, I got another one. You got a bonus sticker. Maybe I could just give that away. That'd be kind of cool. Digital Eclipse and then Neo Sprint. A Neo Sprint sp sticker from the, the tournament. Very cool stuff, guys. Very cool stuff. So, there you have it. There was the haul, minus, of course, the Katie, Katie shirt. Uh, very cool. I thought it was really, really neat. So, all right, cool. Let's go to the wrap up here and say that's it, guys. We have reached, of course, the end of a video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions. Let me know down below what you think about the, all of the things. Let me know what you think about the grabs, what you, may, what you think about the delay, what you think about all of those things. But, of course, we also have to let us know what you think about the members of the Good Times Clubs because we thank them in every single video. That's right. we got to do that. Um, so let's do that right now. Let's thank them. Let's thank... The Ever Canadian, Crimson Cross, George Games, Chris Westerman, Fan of Fiction, Skeletrex, Lloyd R. Jim, Papa Pete, The Intellivision Gamer, Ken Cure, Mr. Short, John Willie, Gunsy20, and Immortal Sojourn. Thank you guys all so much for your support. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out with us, for being awesome. If you are just in the ether talking about things and wanted to like just hang out with me, um, feel free to leave likes, dislikes, sub buttons. You can hit the join button, become a member of the Good Times Club. Help out things like 1080p StreamYard. Help us out on the Evercast. Help Edge Channel out because we, you know, every everybody in the GTC actually helps all of those things at once, which is great. And we thank them so much for their support again. Um, so anyway, there's all those fun things. Leave, of course, comments below. Get in that conversation. And until next time, we'll catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich. And we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. And uh, stay cool out there because it's wicked hot in here right now. All right, see ya.
Team RTSC.BakeItIceCream.com <laughs>